Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Before Woo! we start today's episode, we want to let you know that we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, That's where we right. post early access videos, we post exclusive vlogs, we post high episodes with all these influencers and creators. We have a Discord. We also do live Q&As every month, hang out. It's a really cool uh, community that we have with everybody on Patreon. So if you want to check it out, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. And also, everybody's already seen this episode on there because they get it a couple days early, exactly. ad-free. It's, uh, it's amazing. Everything just for five dollars a month it's uh, a very affordable and cheaper than a starbucks coffee it's uh it's like a reward exactly so yeah make sure to check it out patreon.com slash zane and he thank you oh really <laughs> yeah i Probably feel like you've done a lot cooler man. shit than this i'm like i don't know do you get do you get shaky nervous or kind of just like just quiet okay, <laughs> okay. Just like awesome for a podcast Right. My uh, what happens to me is that my brain just shuts off. Yeah. So I'm not like I'm not able to like grasp what people are saying. Like he can have a full conversation with me in the podcast, and I, I black out and I have to ask him to repeat himself because I'm just like because I'm sitting there while he's talking. I'm just like pay attention, Zane. Pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Zane. Like I'm focusing, but my brain is not allowing to grasp. And then you and then you start thinking about like how does my face look right now? Like as I'm listening, does it look like I'm listening or does it seem like I'm kind of spacey? That's, I need to check my. Hair. Yeah, but the next question, then another question is why the hell are you on a podcast, Zane? It's like the worst thing you can possibly <laughs> do if you have this issue, but. We are we got, you know, pushing through. Get out of our comfort zone. All cameras are live and we're, we're, we're live. We're rolling. Oh, we okay, we're rolling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's our first podcast. Yes. First without Mariah. I know. Poor Mariah is not we've, here. We've done a few without Mariah. Not a regular episode. But not, but not, re but not recently though. Dixie actually requested that Mariah was not on this episode. <laughs> yeah. they, so they do have beef. It, 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 it's so. good for the people. So we got to do what the guest wants. <laughs> no, no, she didn't. She didn't. But Mariah had a good excuse. She's yeah, in she a kickboxing had, class. She <laughs> had uh, this event thingy for uh, aloe yoga. Yeah, because normally right. we do we film at night, so she plans all her shit during the day. But, but it's fine. This will be a different experience. You it know? feels good getting it done during the day. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of look like her, so it's almost like you're filming. <laughs> we were actually gonna put you in her seat and just kind of like play along with it and see if anybody said anything. Exactly. So yeah, very exciting. Let's let's just roll it. Let's roll through the intro. <laughs> it's coming on, baby. Woo! It's the final. Oh my god! Ow! You haven't got up and danced in a minute. I, I, that's the first time I've ever. You were just feeling it. I was just feeling it, but I also covered a shot, so I feel bad about that. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. And today we have the lovely Dixie D'Amelio with us. Woo! Thank you for being here, Dixie. Yeah, Thanks thank for you for coming. Me. Thank you so much for coming on. We're really excited. How's yeah. your day been? Good. 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 Doing podcasts all day. Uh, on a roll, a press tour, if yes. you will. Okay. Nice. You're looking real tan too. Did yeah. you just come back from somewhere? I was in the Bahamas. You were invited. You I, didn't show up. I know. What? It's, it's, you we, got because, invited? Well, yeah, we. I, I got invi invited everyone, but we, that we couldn't go because of stagecoach, and oh. I didn't want to. Like that was a commitment to you. Like right. if I Sorry, went I to this, dibs first. If I went to this birthday, then that would have been letting you down. By a Big lot, because you're you're fucking it's your it's your scene. That's you my know? thing. You so know? I, I had to go to stagecoach for Heath. I had to be there for support. I love the Bahamas though. It's it was a lot of fun. It was like an odd group of people like that I've never really hung out with all together before, but it was really fun. Was it a bonding experience? Yes. Good. Where'd you go? Did you go to like Nassau or yeah, just stayed at a resort? At Bahamar. Oh nice. Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she is Mariah. <laughs> There wasn't a lot of people there. There's usually a lot of kids, but there's like no kids. So we just ran around all day. Nice. Did you feel safe there? Cause I almost got robbed. Yeah, I've been like a bunch of times, never felt unsafe. Yeah, she take, she gets <laughs> taken care of at the oh, Bahamas. Right, yeah. yeah, she has the key she, to the yeah, city yeah. now. <laughs> By like three bodyguards. I was just there with a buddy. You love it. You go there a lot though, right? Is yeah. that your like go-to vacation spot? Yeah, we grew up like that's where we would go on vacation. Cause we lived in Connecticut. So it was like a quick flight there and then slowly brought all of our friends there once this all started and yeah it's, it's really fun it's a thing now it's interesting that we've never been to the bahamas with how close we are because we're from fort lauderdale mm -hmm. and we never thought to just go to the bahamas which is like a 30 minute flight i know it's so easy to get to i, did, I honestly didn't even, i didn't even know the bahamas was right there i thought the bahamas was like where hawaii was really <laughs> I had no idea <laughs> That's yeah, i didn't know it was that close did you just like uh party and hang out or did you do like any like excursions or swim with sharks or do anything like that? Kind of just partied and hung out. Uh, it was Charlie's 18th birthday, so like 
We all got to have fun. Yeah. You could, you could drink at 18 there. I see why you like the bomb. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What? I would do the same thing too. Would okay. you go to Senior Frogs? That, that spot Senior gets Frog. Is, do they have, that, do that, do they have one here? It's like right at the end of like the, the main strip. Um, I've never really been to the strip before. We usually just stay like in the resort. Mm. Like we used to go to Atlantis, which was really I fun. I love Atlantis. Oh. And then we tried Baja Mar. And I like, I really like the whole resort. Like when going on vacation, going to resort, I don't know. We we went to St. Bart's over Christmas and it just like wasn't as fun. I don't like just like straight clubbing. Like yeah. The time. Like I want to go on the slides. I want to like yeah. have fun, run around. It, it's fun to be a tourist. I love going to all inclusive places where you get like a buffet, you get everything. Mm -hmm. You just like walk up, grab your food. That That is the best feeling in the world to me. It looked like they had an insane water slide though when you guys were there. Oh, and yeah. it looked like Noah like flew off and like nearly hit his head. Oh, he, he didn't do that on purpose. That no, like he, accidentally happened. He pushed himself off. That him and Jack Wright were trying to see how long they can go without like. Oh my god! The slide yeah, that look. Absolutely yeah. not. I because get, if you catch enough air when you're away from that slide, you'll just keep you'll right. keep going down without being on the slide, and that, that's that's bad. Water slides scare the hell out of me. I used to go to Rapids in Florida, and the the seams where the plastics are together aren't like the smoothest. So as you're going down, you're like, you don't have a shirt on and it's just tearing your back up. Oh yeah, I gotta do like the full, like I cross my arms and then cross my fingers. And then you gotta go <laughs> scap back. So yeah. you get like your, your back off of it and you kind of just like- And those slides don't even feel good either. Like, I don't know, like you're not having fun throughout the entire <laughs> way down. It's just hurting. You're hurting mm -hmm. your feet, you're hurting your back. It's brutal. <laughs> have you seen like the trapdoor ones where like you go yes. into the tube and then I'm they just drop it out from under those. you? I oh. hate that. Uh -uh. I hate that. <laughs> I'll do it once but like that's so scary I don't something know. about it being like a booby trap which makes it like makes you want to ride it so bad the, the want to try it. anticipation of not knowing when it's going to drop exactly i do like a good fish bowl though like a drink we, we talk, now we're talking uh, the drink no no oh, oh, is this oh, a well, water slide? Uh, i love like a big punch bowl yeah <laughs> wait hold on wait are you talking about a slide the, or are you talking the, about the slide that is like a toilet bowl oh where it goes around and around and around and oh then that like makes you feel like you're drowning and then you get you sucked into the center that oh I love those. <laughs> and it's just with your body. Yeah. Oh. And then you break your back falling into it. How do you get into it? It's it's one of those it, big slides. Yeah, that, it's just like a that's slide and then it turns oh. into a toilet bowl. That's kind of cool. Very yeah, water parks are just aren't fun anymore. I, th I feel like they're all dirty and... Did you know that chlorine doesn't make pools smell like pools? What is it then? It's piss. Oh, yeah. I just I found that out. Wait, are, really? Bullshit. Yes. No, if I don't you go to that. a pool store where they sell the chlorine, it smells, smells like, like a pool. It, no, it's it's the pee mixed into the chlorine that gives you that like that strong, pungent public pool smell. I don't think that many people, people are peeing in it where it, it smells like that everywhere. I think every person that gets into a public pool pees. Every, I, 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 I no. never peed in you a see, pool. It, I, if no? I'm, if I'm in a pool, no, I pee in a lake. I'm peeing in a pool. I don't trust lakes because they got freaking worms that'll go in. You won't little... even get your body into a lake? I go in lakes. I don't pee in lakes. But there's a, a there's worm creatures. Can, a, a worm can swim up you regardless if you're peeing or not. It can't go up if you are peeing because it's just full jet, man. <laughs> That's a current coming. Dude, they're strong. It's like salmon. You wouldn't think they could get upstream, but. I, I'm surprised that those uh, places don't do like the blue dye. You know, when you like that movie, <sighs> the movie Grown Ups, when you piss in the pool and it turns into dye. Why don't they just do that everywhere? It prevents people from pissing. I don't think that's an actual thing. I think that was just made up. No way. I yeah, think it's there, real. There's no, I don't, I don't think so. There has to be a substance you could put in a pool that mixes in with your urine, which has so many, so much toxins in it that would make it turn a different color. I feel like the entire pool would just end up being blue and then you still wouldn't know. Yeah, nobody would want to fucking go to the water park after that. Have you peed in a pool? Yeah. You have? I feel like Ew. everyone has. Recently? I haven't. No, actually, I feel like the Grown Ups movie stopped people from peeing in pools okay. because of the fear <laughs> of oh, the, that, it, yeah, that it could have the stuff in it. I think about that scene all the time, so I'm sure like little kids think about that too. <laughs> We're talking about urine a lot. This is great. Yeah, we're yeah. Talking it always about it, <laughs> always goes to just toilet talk it for is, some reason. It is. Every episode we have a good twenty minutes of toilet talk. But we just uh, we just saw you. What was it last weekend? You guys did a great little surprise party for Noah. Yes, that, that was, was so much. That fun. was really cute that you put that together. I was kind of surprised how many people actually played like soccer. Yeah, I like I didn't know if it was just going to be like me and him, but everyone was having a great time. I'm surprised. We
we didn't play kickball because kickball is the main sport to play when when, people nobody, kick, knows. when nobody knows how to play other sports. <laughs> so I was hoping to God that we play kickball. I'm like, I can play kickball. Like I can actually try in that. Yeah. But soccer, I, I played it when I was little and I I, I just My didn't want to embarrass was myself. Like, he was in there the entire time. <laughs> he was throwing elbows. I thought I had a lot of fun. I, I, I didn't know he, it was it was he, fun. He watching. kicked me in my shin. <laughs> <laughs> he was like very aggressive to everyone. He did not care. But did you play soccer when you were little? Like five. No. Oh, oh, like young, young. You yeah. didn't play after that. I got like a concussion, a really bad concussion from it. And I kind of stopped all contact sports. Ooh, got it. What happened? Got hit in the head, and then I fell back on my head, Ooh. and. It was really bad, but I've had like 12 concussions. I heard once Jeez. you get one, like it's easier and easier to mm -hmm. like get more. Yeah. That's horrible. Isn't there a certain amount of concussions where like, where you, have you hit stop. like the 10th, you're like dead. Well, she's at 12, <laughs> so I think she's with us. I feel like, I think for football, there's like a certain amount that you have where, to like stop or like chill out. Mm -hmm. Like in high school, I started playing field hockey and I wasn't allowed to be in the full games because they were like, it's, our responsibility and we can't let you get hurt. But yeah, once I got my first one, I felt ice skating, like the rest I would get like, I'd get one or two a year. Damn. So I'm guessing when you did like BMX bike riding, you, that was before Yeah, I never your got first concussion. That. That's, that's insane. Yeah, yeah, that's the one sport you would think. <laughs> my, just even starting the bike, my neck would just give out. Starting, starting the, the bike, bike, it's BMX, Zane. Yeah, it's the bike, a it's a bike. <laughs> <laughs> you, BMX, you know, but you're like doing a throttle. That's, yeah, that's motocross. Oh, then what? A, what's the difference? BMX is just a bike with like. Oh, it's the <laughs> same thing, same world. People like me, that, that looks all the fucking same to me. So, so was it BMX or motocross? BMX. BMX. What type of bike do you have? It was like a mix. My dad made it. Okay. So, I don't remember the brand. I was like, my dad had a team. He made like a team, and I was on the team. That's so sick. It was so much fun. I wish I had stuck with it. I feel like. I don't know what my life would be like if I stayed with it. You'd probably have a lot more concussions. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't have gotten any concussions. Well, she would have gone so good, I feel like, where she wouldn't have had True. concussions. Were, were you an aggressive BMX um, rider? Were you just like kicking other girls like <laughs> off to the sides, throwing up dust in their <laughs> I eyes? I've been watching Charlie's Angels the whole time. Hitting people with nunchucks as she's riding by. It's like that street like, moto game. Yeah, yeah. It's like death race, but uh, BMX all. I was like seven, so no, but. I don't know. I was just like, everyone was, I don't know. I didn't really practice because the tracks were so far away. So I would just like go on the weekends, do it and then go home. Yeah. I think moto is the cutest like kids sport to watch. Oh my, yeah. When there's we watched something, that the other day. there's something so cute about watching little kids on like a dirt bike or even like a BMX bike, mm -hmm. like way more than watching like a little kid play soccer. That's just like awkward, <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. But watching like a kid ride a dirt bike. It'd be tough. It's so cute. Yeah, Heath and I watched one of the, one of those races like a few months ago and it was, they had the adults come like play the real game. Then they had the <laughs> kids come out and it, it was, it That's was really precious. cute. Were they, were they good or were they just, were they they, just I guarantee kids. you they'd get around that track way faster than you could. I know, no, I know that, but I'm like, I, I don't remember. They were, they were, they were good. They were good. Okay. Yeah. I just remember just saying on the whole time. I, I feel like if they were good, I'd be like, damn, uh -huh. they're good. Did um, anybody end up adopting a dog at the birthday party? I was going to ask Because there was too. a lot I of almost dogs. did. I wanted one so bad. They're the cutest I dogs. Too. Anthony got the one I wanted. So Avani's boyfriend, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. He got one. It's so cute. It and only the, has... Like two toes on the back foot. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, what, do you, what would you name so that? Cute. He named it Blue. Oh, okay. After well, that the bear in <laughs> uh, Jungle Book. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Baloo. I want Noah to get one. I was like begging him. Like after we saw Anthony get one, I wanted one so bad. So only one got adopted? Yeah. You, you have dogs already at your place, right? I have Charlie? two at my house and then my parents have two. Oh, what no. type do you have? A golden retriever and a chocolate lab. Oh, what I a pair. Want, I want a golden. Goldens are the best. They're like, she's, she takes on like my energy. So if I'm sad, like I got her for like emotional support, but right. like she's depressed. And so she'll just sleep all day and just like wimp around. I'm like, get up, like help me. <laughs> You're supposed to be uplifting me, not bringing me down. I had a long day, please. Uh, is it trained to be an emotional support dog? No, but like, that's what the plan was. I was just like, I got her when I needed her, but then she like, kind of took on my traits, but now she just chills and we just okay. like vibe. It's crazy. Like some of the uh, golden retrievers that do it and they go to the hospitals, mm -hmm. you can literally push them, roll them over and they just like, 
They're or just, like a teddy bear. And no, they're trained can. to just like get loved and just be touched because they go see like kids and stuff. Yeah. And they're super calm no matter what situation. You and could tuck my dog into bed and she'll stay. Like, really? I tuck her in and like put her under the covers and she'll stay the whole night. Wow. I don't know. I don't know why, but like for me, dogs, like the less they do, the better I like them. I love when they just like, they, all they do is just, just lay down all day vibe. or they like, come, yeah, they just vibe all day. But I think those are the older dogs. Look too. at that, man. God, I, I, I love an English cream retriever, like the white ones. Those are really nice. Those are, very, is yours um like, mm -hmm. like the brown or golden or the white or golden? Like the perfect color. Golden. Perfect gold golden. Yeah. Have okay. you ever scratched your um like the, the the like almost the rear end of your lab Jesus. and they lick up they they lick <laughs> the uh Wait, isn't that a cat thing and they like Well, I, I know uh for like a chocolate lab if you scratch just their like butt right before their tail, they'll like like lick, like they start licking. Dude, it's like what? A, like they, it's like a pressure <laughs> point for them and they just start licking. It's I don't know, it's a little hack. <laughs> but I don't know. I had a friend. I, I had a, a chocolate lab that did that, and then my friend had one and didn't know that did like a watch, and it worked. So test the theory. Have out. you have you done it to a dog? Yes, uh, only labs. <laughs> I'm not scratching the butt. I'm scratching right before the tail. <laughs> somebody's walking by. Sir, is that a lab? <laughs> can, you, Could can, I can, just can, uh, can I show you something? Real look quick? at this. <sighs> That's weird. No, yeah. I saw a video of someone doing that to a cat, like right in that spot. Oh. And it was in a bathtub and you like couldn't see. And then it started freaking out and then it just bloop. Oh yeah. I think like a, a woman made her cat like what? have a big O. By doing that. By scratching her cat in the bath. Really? Yeah, it's kind of, it's a nasty little video. Yuck. That is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were doing. No, it's just like a thing that like labs do. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to test it. Now I'm thinking about the cat. <laughs> You're not a cat person at all. No, I like cats. I just like rather dog. Right. I had a cat. Is there an animal that you've like would love to have, but you never would have, like a monkey. Probably a pig. Oh, oh yeah. there's a lot of people that have pe uh, pet pigs. Pot belly pig or like a like a small pig. A big one. Oh, Ricky Dillon has a pig. Yeah, he still has the pig, right? Yeah, that's crazy. It's literally like a dog. If it just follows him you everywhere, can, like, he train plays. It. Yeah, he plays catch with it and everything. Do they pot? Are they potty trained or are they just like? Poop everywhere. Sorry, we're going back to poop and pee talk. I'm just curious. I th I think you can I think you can train them because aren't pigs they're like smart? smart. They're smart animals. I've heard people who like buy those like toy mini pigs and then they turn out to be just like full grown pigs and they're like shit. I have a huge <laughs> like ass a two hundred pound pig. Yeah. Do you think people with pet pigs still eat ham? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Really? That's kind of fun. No. Absolutely. No. I don't. I. It's all I could think about. If I was eating it and I looked over and I saw my pig, I think I would. People throw have yeah. people have pet fish and eat fish. People have chickens that lay eggs. And okay, wait, wait. Chicken. Fish is different. <laughs> fish is different. It's, it's, a, it's a, one of those like beta fighting yeah. fish, like on the counter. <laughs> yeah, because like fish don't have like feelings. You know what I mean? I get. Oh they're God. not. They're not like. They're not like pigs or dogs. I mean, it cats. says something that people that are like pescatarians <laughs> they won't eat any meat, but they eat fish. Like you know. Yeah, what I mean? it's like the lowest of the like. I think I'd I feel bad. I, I honestly feel bad saying that because fish are fish friends, are, friends not. are not food. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it had to get said at some point. God, look at that pig. I just want to. It's just pat just it. Look pop, at pop, that. Pop. Just smack that up like a bongo drum, man. God, that, that looks inviting. Can we look up the world's record uh, on heaviest pig? <laughs> Let's take a guess. What do you think? Is that like a warthog? Oh, it would. Ah. 700. 700 pounds? Matt, what do you think? Oh my Whoa. lord. Wait, go back. Wait, to go, go back, you, go back, go back. Oh, oh my, my god. Look at the things on that thing. Jeez. That is not real. That, that, that oh, looks that's like what, what that's people fake. put on the back of their truck. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's I think that's fake. There's no there's no way. The guy's wow. riding the pig. <laughs> Sorry, Dixie. This is this this is Is this what you <laughs> this thought we were so gonna get into when we said you're gonna come on the show? <laughs> We really go off track. Because we have no idea what the show is going to turn out to be. It just kind of just gets wung. That's, that, oh, that's, that's not real. That wait, wait, real. wait. I know for the first two seconds you probably thought it was real. Zane, you know what animal I just like recently learned about within the last couple years? And it absolutely blew my mind. I saw it at a zoo and I was like... There's no way this is real, and I'd never known about it. Type in capybara. Oh, I love the capybara. Uh, what is that? It is massive, Zane. <laughs> that looks like three animals. Like it, it into looks one. like a little gopher type thing. But Ooh. show that next to a person. It's a rat. It's a giant rodent. It's like a dog. Oh my oh. god! Look at that, <gasps> dude. It doesn't make sense. The, that, that Wait, is this me. like a rare species? Like, how have I not seen this before? And look at that. 
Bro, I don't get it. No. Oh my God. We should normalize capybara. It's we a should. giant squirrel. Sorry, Heath has been really into squirrels lately. You know, we, he has a pet squirrel a, in the backyard. Really? They feed it yeah, every they day. Come. They come right, he, the squirrel comes right in the house. She'll hop on Mariah. Runs around the editing. kitchen. You it in the house? It'll jump up on the chair and sit in the fruit basket right in front of Mariah while she's editing. Like she'll watch Mariah edit and then Mariah will like take a peanut and feed the squirrel and then just keep going. You think they're wild animals that you just got to show the animals some love sometimes and then they'll come to you. There's no better feeling in the world than befriending a wild animal mm -hmm. and gaining its trust. Absolutely. Doesn't matter what animal it is. Yeah, Mariah and I lost that trust for like a few weeks. We tried yeah, to trap it in the house. Them in the house. I, yeah, after the first two weeks, we we're like, it's time. So when the squirrel was in, we just closed the doors <laughs> and a squirrel freaked out. It was running all over the place. It was. I think I heard it like squeal, like squeal or something. It's probably screaming for help. Yeah, no, definitely. And it took a long time to get, gain the squirrel's trust back again. I still, I, sorry, I can't stop looking at this capybara. It's Have you so seen a cute. cassowary? Mm -mm. Sickest bird in the world. Oh, bird. I feel like we're on the Joe Rogan podcast <laughs> now. It's like, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> Man, that is bananas, dude. Do you know what a cassowary is? Um, oh It looks God. like a peacock. It looks like a dinosaur. Ostrich. That's beautiful looking. They're huge. I think oh I gotta God. go back to the zoo. I get, I get <laughs> way too excited. Can I, can, I can I take a potty break? Yeah, is that yeah. fine? Yeah, you gotta I go, know we're having so much fun. You gotta go pee right, pee <laughs> Yeah, we have a small bladders, all of us. I'll just be here looking at, look at the size of that thing. Look at the ostrich. Have you seen an ostrich in person? I must have at like a zoo. Or an emu? No. Jordan has a pet emu. Where are you guys getting I do. me? <laughs> he also has a, you know, those big tortoises that are the size of the opening of this table. Mm -hmm. He's got those in his front yard too. That happens a lot too, where people buy a little turtle. And it turns out to be a big ass mm -hmm. thing. There's that girl on TikTok. She came to my house and like brought it. Uh huh. And it was so, it just like, it's going to outlive her. That's crazy. Like that's a generational pet. Pass that down to your grandkids. It's a commitment. Just like a hundred years with that thing. So you're from Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Did you like growing up in Connecticut? Yeah, I feel like it was as normal of a place to live. Like it's just very neutral. Yeah. Nothing like crazy. Or Do you live by the shore? Where is Norwalk? We have a sound. So it's not like the ocean because it's Norwalk and then the sound and then Long Island. Okay. So we had like no waves or anything and the water was gross. Oh. But we had like seals in the ocean or in the sound. Do you think you could like, you can you spot people from Connecticut pretty well being from Connecticut? Like that person's from Connecticut. Definitely East Coast, but not. There's a difference between like the East Coast and the West side of Connecticut. Oh, I thought you meant oh, like here. Can I spot bad. people uh, from oh, Connecticut? Yeah, in a way. Can you? I mean, no. Oh, okay. Like there's not like big Connecticut energy that you could pick up on. No, we don't have like an accent or anything. I don't think. How far are you from Yukon? Uh, like an hour, 30 minutes. Okay. That's where my dad went to school. My brother went there. Really? That's the only time I've been to Connecticut was when I went to go see him. If I said I wanted to quit everything and go to Yukon, he'd like be so excited. Really? <laughs> he loves it. But you got into Alabama. You were going to go? I was going to go to Alabama. I was in and then like a month before I was supposed to leave, I was like, well, I can't really travel. There's a pandemic going on and all that. So I was like, all right, so I guess I'm not going to college because I still had to do stuff in LA. So I stayed and then they were like, you could come back next year without applying. And then I just kind of stopped it, talking to my away. parents about it. <laughs> do you get nervous for like interviews like that? No, that stuff I'm like in school, I was really good at public speaking and like interviews and kind of talking about myself. And ever since I started this, I've gotten like way worse. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can see that though because there's some there's you you're not thinking about it but there's there's cameras recording you you know what's going out to a bunch of people and like everybody's going to be seeing this it's not there's a long term effect of what right exactly now. yeah you're like selling yourself in the beginning and then now that you've kind of created yourself you're just right. like uh now I have to be like super introspective <laughs> about what you've done did, yeah did you feel in the beginning when you first started this it was much easier like you, you didn't like it didn't feel like a ton of people were watching you yet. Yeah. And I think the reason I made all of the positive connections I did in the beginning that I still have now is because mm -hmm. I met them in person and I was like going to the Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok offices and like meeting people. Cause I'm much better in person, like making a connection with someone, yeah, especially right. like in business stuff. Like I'm just so much better than like online, even zoom calls. Like once we were home in Connecticut, so like awkward. doing all that, I was just like, 
so out of it like i'm much better when i could yeah i don't think we've ever had i don't think anybody's ever had a good zoom call yeah. they're always just awkward <laughs> God, could you believe that call that was great <laughs> yeah no it's always like what the i'm just looking at myself the whole time on a zoom call. I'm just you're, like, you're noticing stuff in your room behind you're like shit i gotta move that <laughs> you're like, like, it a little bit you like cover it with your chair i do that all the time i wonder what moments sparked in zoom where they they came up with that filter where everything behind you blurs oh out like God. what happened where they're like guys we need to figure out a better way to do this when you know who was on zoom and his thing fell he, and, that we and even it, say showed, this. <laughs> it showed he wasn't wearing any pants he was just we in had his a underwear. meeting and the camera like a fell. really really important like zoom call and the camera fell and he, he had like a who dress is this shirt. wait i don't want to say oh, we can't it, say oh. who it was but it was like a dress shirt looking real nice and the camera fell and landed and it was angled right at his lap Boxer, just, under, oh, in under no. in his underwear and he realized picked it up and was just there was, there was about seven people in the meeting, so everybody saw that. And we, it was so embarrassing. We, we all tried to play it off, but we were just like, <laughs> trying to carry the conversation. It was unbelievable. Like seeing that, seeing that with your own eyes, I could have been like, that was 100% could have been like a viral video. Yes, I wish that somebody just... recorded that. <laughs> so good. But I saw, um, so I know you, when you were three years old, you got to choose your little sister's name, oh, yeah. which I think is so cute. That is cute. And it was between the uh, between Charlie and Princess. Cinderella. <laughs> it was Cinderella, not yeah, Princess. No, not Princess. Cinderella. Which I don't know if is like worse or better, but yeah, that was my two choices. Well, th no, there's definitely girls that I've met who are named Princess. Yeah. So Princess definitely makes sense, but no, Cinderella is. If her <laughs> name was Cinderella, that I mean, I feel like that. That's a star's name. Uh, 100%. I, I, I know why you came up with Cinderella when you were pitching your. Yeah. names but why do you say charlie as well so i don't remember this obviously but i was in a daycare program and there's this baby in it named charlie that i was like obsessed with and like i was three but i was like can i hold charlie and then that was my second choice i okay. don't i don't remember any of this but that's what my mom said were they pushing for another name though that I don't wasn't think your they had anything oh. they picked my like my mom picked my name when she was like a kid so she kind of had one and didn't really because of Winn Dixie. Yeah, honestly, I think it, I think it's a smart thing for parents to do that too. It makes it makes like the child feel more connected to the baby because yeah. you know there's times where like when parents have a kid, the other child like feels like they're excluded. But I feel like, like that happens sometimes, right? Or is, yeah. it, is that not a normal thing where the child feels excluded? Like when the parents are giving more attention to the other baby, I just feel like giving letting them choose the name makes them feel like it's like yeah, a little bit more empowered. Like they exactly. had a say in it. Yeah. Do you I hold that it. against her? Like, well, I named you, and you feel better. I honestly didn't know that until oh, shit. recently, <laughs> but she, I have like loved her. Like I wanted to like hang out with her, play with her all the time. She never wanted to like play with me. Like as a kid, mm. she would like do her own thing and then I would cry, <laughs> but now we're best friends. Have you guys gotten closer since you both started doing social media and moved out here? Yeah, we were. So when she was in middle school and I was in high school, we were like not friends at all. We would go weeks without talking. And then once we switched schools and went to the same high school, we were like best friends going out every weekend together on the same sports teams. Like her friends were my friends, my friends were her friends. Like it was great. And then once we started all this, like we were already close and we just like come out to LA together and meet everyone right. and be like, oh my God, we just met this person. Like <laughs> right. cool. freak out about it to ourselves. Did, did you protect her a lot during school? Like during oh, her, yeah. yeah. I was like looking through, I screenshot everything. Cause I like, I don't know. I just have it at this point, but I was looking through my old screenshots. It was like me in an argument with a girl, like don't ever talk about my sister like that. Like just, <laughs> just being the big <laughs> sis, having her back. That's yeah. good. No, because I, I get like, I get like a little vibe from you that you will like beat someone's ass if they, oh, <laughs> if, yeah. if they fuck yes. with any, like with your family or anybody. Have you ever thrown hands? I don't really get in in-person arguments. Not like for any, I would much oh, rather you, do it Oh, you're a keyboard, person. hide behind the keyboards. <laughs> 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 what are These they, days, keyboard yeah. warriors? Insane. What do they call them? <laughs> Keep, wait, you're talking about like keyboard? I don't know. I know what you're talking about, but. That's the thing, people who fight online like keyboard warriors? Oh yeah, people who just, yeah. I would, would much rather do it in person, but I've never, I usually figure it out before like, and I forget everything. So if I'm in a fight with someone and we go like a month without talking about it, I'll be like, oh my God, hi. And they're like, <laughs> did you forget <laughs> that we <laughs> that, that could come off like snarky too or like purposely yeah, just no. like hey how are you doing like, long time no see <laughs> how have you been if you give me time to forget like i'm i'm friends with people and so you don't hold grudges just, no but not like i just forget like, I'm oh, not, okay I'm not like <laughs> you're I'm not forgiving them forget. you're just like <laughs>
Um, so you said right when you got here, you guys have already gotten into a couple fights since you moved in together. Yes, we've gotten in two like big fights. Both were not my fault, but well, one was my fault, one was hers. But we were like resolved it in minutes. Like that's good. We don't really argue about anything. Like I see her wearing my clothes, and I'm like, it's just not worth it. Like whatever. Yeah. I think we're past that point of like the stupid arguments. We're not like. This is your bowl. Like we'll just do it. Like, <laughs> right. Oh, so it's like dishes and shit. That, those type of fights. Roommate roommate fights. I mean, I can't really talk about the big fights because they're like no, bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we're like our little things. It's just like, hey, your dog is here. Like your dog's barking. Which is nasty. Do you really value your sister's like um cr like opinion on things like creatively? Like if there's something that you're working on, do you ever like run it by her? Do you go, what do you think of it? Or do you like to do it completely separately and not really care what she has to say? If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. The things we do together, we are always on the same page. So like we have a clothing line together and whenever we're like picking something, we always pick the same thing without even like talking. That's, oh, nice. that's good. And but that's social, social tourist. tourist. Right. And then, for like everything else, we kind of just don't really talk about it. Like I find out she does things. I'm like, oh, when was that? She's like, oh, like three months ago. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I mean, I go to her. I feel like we all have, if we're like passing by in, in a meeting, like give each other advice, but it's not like, there's no reason why we're not. Since yeah. we're on, since we're on uh, your clothing company, Social Taurus, I remember this was like, we didn't even really uh, know of you and Charlie back then, but I remember like a few years ago, Heath and I went to the mall to go mm -hmm. Christmas shopping. And we knew of you on TikTok, but like not, nothing really more than that. And I remember going to the mall and all the stores were like normal, normally packed, whatever. And only Hollister, and it was you guys all over Hollister. It was, when, it, was it was before Social Taurus. It was when yeah, you guys yeah, came yeah. out with the jeans with the, the hashtag challenge that you guys did. And that line, I could not, I looked at Heath, I was like, oh my God, they're yeah. actually bigger than we like think <laughs> they are. Hollister stock tripled. It was, it was, wow. it was Shit. crazy seeing this line. It was wrapped around the whole mall. And it was like, you could tell that they were there to get Charlie and Dixie's jeans. It, it was crazy. It, you know, it, jeans for the boys though at all? Or was it just for the girls? It was just, we were the face of- Of their denim. Yeah, oh, it was it. like okay. our thing. Like now everything we do at Social Tours is like our stuff. But I feel like I've never really seen anything like that happen. That's why like this whole idea of like people following me and watching me, I've never seen it. Yeah. yeah. Except I went to Knott's Berry Farm the other day and it was like crazy, but <laughs> that's like so rare because I don't really leave the house. Well, you've, I feel like you've, you've, you've had like a few meet and greets, right? But not, I guess not too many. Like where you like experienced that? in 2020. You went to Playlist in 2020? Oh, like, I didn't know that. But I, we did like a pop-up meet and greet because we had to like go somewhere. So I never really experienced like selling tickets for a meet and greet, but. Yeah. Have you ever seen people like out in your jeans and you're like, oh my God, they're wearing my jeans. Oh, when I see people in the clothes, I'm like, I love your shit. Is that the craziest <laughs> feeling in the world? Yeah, but sometimes I f I'm like, oh wait, do they know? Like, <laughs> they know there's like, like uh, <laughs> thanks weirdo. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's kind of better if there's random people that don't know you are wearing your shit. I think that is 10 times cooler. It is a good feeling too. I'd be pumped. <laughs> like imagine like we walked out inside and, and saw somebody just like carrying a Cremota cup, drinking our coffee. Yeah, I would like, have a meltdown. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I was like, can we take a picture together? Um, do you have any other businesses that you are looking to start? I have some ideas. I just like, I'm, the stuff that I think about that are like good ideas is nothing that like I am doing. So it doesn't make sense for yeah. me. Okay. Not authentic. Well, yeah. But it's like really good ideas. So I'm always like, hey, you should do this, but I don't know. I think right now I'm just like focusing on music and modeling and social tourist and- That sounds like exactly. a full plate <laughs> though, so don't worry. Let's talk about your new single yeah. that just released now, two days ago? Two days ago it came out. If that's at the time, if this is coming yeah, out the 30th. Yeah, this is coming out, out. Right, uh, yeah, right after her song release. Okay, yeah, so talk about out your now. new song. I Tell us about the lyrics. Tell us, tell us something, anything that we, uh, it's out already, so we know the lyrics. <laughs> but yeah, tell us a little bit about your song. The song is called Wild. Um, I feel like this song I decided to put as my first single because it's the m most like real music sounding song that I had. Okay. Because I'm trying to transition like, I really am care about music and put a lot of time and like love into it, but everything that I already have out, it's not really 
it doesn't really show you as an artist. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of like on the line of like TikTok this or doing music. Got it. So yeah. I feel like the production of the song, like everything about it is just really cool. Yeah. And also the meaning behind it is just kind of like, I feel like I would never describe myself as wild, but I think there's a, I'm two different people. Like when I'm online, I'm more like, uh, shy, yeah. reserved, but versus like when I'm out, I'm like, when you're with your like close friends and I you can, can be, be open. Yeah. And just like more me. And I feel like that's kind of the idea behind it, but also it's just like a fun pop song that like I would enjoy to perform. I feel like every song that is coming out on my album are songs like that I want to perform. Mm -hmm. Cause after doing jingle ball, I was like, this sucks. Like I love this song, but like <laughs> it's so boring to like sing. I'm like, I right. don't know what to do. But how many songs are going to be on your album? Twelve. Wow. 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 Do we have a name for the album? It's called A Letter to Me. Very Taylor Swift. It is. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm so excited. So it's still, you're, it's still the same genre, but it's more like you're saying it sounds more like you something you'd want in a song. Everything's like elevated. I think. I feel like I've really found like my sound and what I want to do with music. Okay. But also everything on the album is like there's not just pop. Like I've ballads and kind of rock based pop songs. Oh, so cool. It's okay. Like a mix, so I can have groundwork to move up on, so I can go in any direction. That's yeah. kind of like what I wanted to do with this. How how many songs do you write, and then you're like, okay, I got to cut this down to get this into an album? Probably have around like sixty songs. Jesus. That's right? Didn't you go to like a, a song camp or something, and you really like bust out writing like? Yeah, none of those songs are on. The <laughs> no <album>. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did it for two weeks every day. Got like. 30 songs, none of them are on the album. Do you work wow. with the same people? Do you have like someone who's like your guy, like no, or girl who's like your producer or? I just found like my writer and producer this year and we kind of took a step back and worked like on everything and like taking other songs and making them into in something new. So yeah, it was definitely a process, like two years of work that like is not coming out, but yeah. I think it's helped me. Learn that got you where you are yeah. today. Yeah, you put in like that 10,000 hours just yeah. to get you closer <laughs> to what you really, you know, are good at and right. finding your own craft within it. I couldn't imagine what that would feel like. Like that would be like us recording a hundred vlogs or a hundred episodes of this and be like, all right, let's pick 15. Yeah. Which that, one is it? That's tough. I, I would feel so like weird about being like, all right, this just didn't make the cut. Are, are you are you sad that like some songs don't make it, or you're you're being just being extremely picky? And you're just like, no, this isn't. No, perfect. like I, I listen to old songs. I'm like, oh, I wish this was out. I want to like after the album's out, maybe in the fall, do like a SoundCloud like a B side thing, and just like all the songs that's that cool. Didn't Good idea. Make it just so I can have them out because I love them, but just not in the direction I was going in. Who are, okay. you, who are like your biggest influences? Is there someone that you looked up to a lot when you were growing up and like you try to like emulate that or pull from that or use that as inspiration? I feel like there's not anyone that I'm like look at and like I want it to sound like this, but I do love like Katy Perry, um, oh, yeah. Billie Eilish, Shawn Mendes. I feel like I love them all for different reasons, mm -hmm. but I don't think anything I'm doing sounds like that. It's just kind of like what I want to be. Were you a crazy like kind of fangirl at all when you were younger? Like who was like, what posters did you have in your room that you were like obsessing about? I was never really a huge fangirl. I did go to a Shawn Mendes meet and greet, but I cannot find the picture. <gasps> oh man. Oh, that's <laughs> I have funny. a picture of him and my mom, but I don't have the picture of me and him like anywhere is this like MagCon days or it was stitches? his first tour yeah okay so wait so it was MagCon. it was his first tour when he first, started doing music first tour when he started doing music got it okay and i went to his concert and i got like the meet and greet tickets and it was he was so tall that's all i remember i was like you're so tall and then i met him <laughs> sometime <laughs> recently and then i met him like and he out. remembered no <laughs> but then i met him again and he didn't remember that he met me the first time and i was like hi <laughs> you get away with it. Did you want, and before that, did you watch like any influencers ever growing up or it was, you just didn't even know that world until well, your sister started. Guys. I was a big fan of like, before you started making TikToks. Oh, yeah. oh you're, you were watching Davis videos. Oh yeah. Oh really? Sick. Like I've seen every video. Like, oh, oh wow. my God. Oh, oh I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, it was that feels fan. good. Look yeah. at that. Who's your who's your favorite character? character? Character. I love that we have just this cast. <laughs> it's not even a character. It? It's fucking real. Unfortunately, that's funny. But I would like watch them after school every day, like before I went to bed. There was actually, I didn't watch like a lot of content, but David's videos I watched 
all the time. Yeah, I feel like his videos were for like people who didn't watch YouTube. That are like that was the quick. only thing that yeah. they him they and did. Cody Ko were like the two yeah. people that I watched a lot. There's yeah. a time where I only watched the two of them too. Because there there was a, like a year where I just watched Cody Ko's videos. It's just it's just it's a good watch. It's good to just sit like Enter have it just playing. good entertainment. Exactly. Is there anyone who you still get like starstruck around or you? Just can't believe that you're like communicating with this person because you used to be such a big fan. He's like, of. yeah, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, I met Lil Uzi. Oh, Lil Uzi, Uzi Bird. I, do, I don't even know who. What he, he looks seems like. like the sweetest he dude in the world. He's like a cute little cupcake, and he's like, oh my god. He was the nicest person I've ever met. I was crying. I've been to like so many of his concerts, and. I've told everyone, like, leading up to that point, I was like, I want to meet Lil Uzi. Like, can you do that for me? Because I'm not, like, I don't, I'm very calm around people, but yeah. I saw him and just started bawling my eyes out. And he was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what he looks like. I don't, he's the one who has, like, the there's diamond too, there's on too his many, forehead. There's too many Push Lils. me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Right? <laughs> Is that a little Uzi Vert? Oh, oh, I've seen like like vi like videos of him. Was he there like outside of a bus stop, like a school yes, bus? And That's he has him. like a popsicle stick and he, and he yeah. comes up. Okay, or he, okay. he does that like jump and everybody started doing, he's got like that little hop that he did in one video. And he paid for that guy's college in the middle of like <laughs> a Macy's, like, yeah. the, like the jewelry section. He's like, pay for my college. He's like, okay, how much? How much All is right, it? I yeah, got he, you. He looks fun, like he looks fun and really sweet. Like he, he has like a, a sweet Does face. he still have that diamond? Isn't that diamond worth like $14 million? Wait, is that a real diamond out. on his head? It fell out like he it, lost it? No, I think he, it like got infected and I'm, I follow all the little Uzi <laughs> Uzi updates. Does it leave like, I don't understand how that like stays on his forehead. It's I like, what do they call him? Dermal? Just, oh, so it's like having a, like a, uh, like a Monroe like when, piercing. It's like the one on his nose, but on his Forehead. It, it, it like uh it goes under the skin they do oh okay i see okay so he has just like a regular and it just piercing. latches on to that got it okay but he got ripped out by fans so wait one of those fans what does it say 24 million someone ripped it out of his head so not just a little bit 24 million dollars I'm I don't not, believe that. I, mean, I don't believe it. I could believe somebody running up trying to rip a twenty-four million dollar rock oh, into somebody's yeah, that's head. True. Yeah, Wait, but I feel really? like I bet he has like a fake one that he puts in for concerts and stuff when he knows he's about to be. He's just up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, into the crowd. I would fucking die. <laughs> it's like a travel ring. Like you know, people get like their engagement rings and then they buy like one that looks just like it. The rubber. Whenever they go on vacations, just in case you lose. But then it. you don't want it falling out, and then someone takes it, and then they like post a video saying that it's a fake. Diamond too, you know, because that could easily happen. I love those videos where they like will go up to guys' chains and see if it's like real the testers. <laughs> yeah, real like uh, uh, diamonds on it. Is it like a? It's like a m meter beeper. Yeah, it goes like green and red, okay. and just people carry that with them. See if shit's for real. Are you a jewelry girl? No, I rarely wear nice jewelry. I lose everything. I have this necklace that I just got from Larry. Mm -hmm. And it's on, but the time, the second I take it off, I'm not putting it back on. Like I do not wear nice jewelry. I feel like that's how I am too. I, I get it gives me like anxiety, and I rip it off. So I yeah. Like I had a Cartier bracelet, and I can't wear it because I can't take it off fast. Oh yeah, you need like a, a screwdriver I'm to get like the thing out. To unscrew it and freaking out. Like, <laughs> that that makes me nervous about those not being able to just like clip off. If it gets caught, it can't like, like pop. Like what if I break my arm and then it starts swelling? Like I think of everything. Ooh. Oh wow. Did you see the TikTok of the person that had the ring? That they it like fused into their hand. It oh. fused into their skin. What do, what do you mean fused into? It, it got so tight because they like wore it for like Decades and like, the skin had eaten over the band basically. Oh my god! And become and they had to cut and surgically remove the skin from around the oh ring. Oh my so they could get god! It off. Uh, was it was he wearing like fake? You know when you wear fake shit, it like it, no, it, it's like it, if you like gain weight in your hands and your like it swells up. He couldn't take it off one day, and, and he then, was just like, "Fuck it, it's staying on my hand." And then it just it just slowly starts getting irritated. Or say it infused into finger, maybe if that helps. Oh, oh that one, that second oh one. Oh my god, no! It is, it's just in there, and it's like scar tissue over it. Oh my god, that kind of looks like he like did like a little implant piercing. Honestly, like, it looks like little Uzi, Uzi reverse forehead. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's kind of planted in there. Oh man, yeah, wow. you gotta amputate fine. that. There's, there's, oh, no, yeah, there's no, nothing you, you can do. That is crazy. <laughs> what do you like to spend money on? Do you have like a guilty pleasure? Like you go nuts about clothes, shoes? No. No, nothing? I like- You save her? I'm not even trying to save. I just, so ever since I moved, I haven't 
updated my addresses on anything. So I okay. just don't feel like shopping. So I stopped spending money since I moved into my house because it's all into my old address. And I'm like, well, not going to change it. Okay. There's a hack. Just move. <laughs> yeah. I like, I have my car in my house and I feel like. Just frugal. It's just like, you don't need to spend money on anything. You, you just don't kinda, need anything. I like thing like doing things or gifts. I like giving gifts. Like trips. Yeah. yeah. You'll do a trip. Okay. That makes, I like that. It is true. Everything that I look back on that I think about like, wow, I did this or accomplished this. It's always like a cool travel trip. And like that stay, like stays with me more than anything else. I'm also just not like, that's why I don't have nice jewel, like buy a nice jewelry or anything. Cause I'm not responsible. And I'm like, I know myself better than that. I just won't. Yeah. Like I have like some purses, but I don't wear them because I'm going to lose them or Break them. I don't also know. get scared you're going to like ruin it. Put shit in your pockets. Who needs purses? Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, Credit Karma. Have you ever been rejected for a credit card? It happens way too often. That's why Credit Karma created Karma a Confidence Technology, helping our members apply with more confidence. Credit Karma uses your credit profile to show you personal offers that are tailored specifically for you. Credit Karma partners with a wide range of card issuers so you can be sure that you are exploring all sorts of options. And the best part of all is that Credit Karma uses your credit profile to show you your chances of approval before you even apply, helping you apply with even more confidence. Comparing cards on Credit Karma is 100% free and won't affect your credit scores. That's right, baby. So go with Credit Karma and create your own karma. So if you're ready to find the card for you, head over to Credit Karma and check out your personalized mix of offers today. So take all the guessing out of it and let Credit Karma find the exact card that is best for you. All you got to do is go to creditkarma.com or download the Credit Karma app and find out. Again, that's creditkarma.com. Thank you, Credit Karma, for sponsoring today's episode. Do you have any secret hobbies that you... uh like to do like knitting? I feel like I have the ADHD thing where I get a hobby, go all out for like a day and then never pick it up again. It's called flavor of the month. I have yeah. it too. Yeah, we all, <laughs> me and Heath have it bad. We have uh, it with houses. We have it with just everything. I just need a new fix. God, I just, I'm it's just excited. Itching. It makes things exciting. Itching for that next thing. You know what I mean? And then you get it and you're like, all right, what's next? Are you going to be putting out, I'm sorry, I'm going back to the album. Are yeah. you going to be putting this out on CDs? I want to. I want to do CDs and record, like Records finals, but they take like eight, nine months. Oh, so. yeah. Wow. To press Bo that. Both CDs or just re or records? Just uh, vinyls. Oh, CDs vinyls, are easy, I think. I feel like CDs are coming back in a way. Like I, it's crazy I how big vinyls were and now CDs. I well, don't the know. thing is that there's not a lot of things that have CD players. I so think like, people just like having- Just having it. Yeah. The, the nostalgia feeling. I mean, who would have predicted that vinyls would be that big now? Right. Like you yeah. walk into an Urban Outfitters, they got, they're selling record players. Record players now they vinyl. need to make just like a cool, like, half Bluetooth, half CD player kind of thing. Yeah. Don't and they don't they sound better too on record, yeah. play, record players? The, the highs and lows. Because on a, on a CD, like, an, uh, like a digital track, it cuts and you only have like the middle, but there's more depth in the highs and lows on like an actual record. Huh. If you put out a CD, would you like share all the lyrics for it like too? I guess they do that or oh, do that on Spotify. Oh my God. Yeah. I love the booklet that would come in a CD case. Because oh, everyone, could, they, they put their own style in it. Like yes. remember, remember M&Ms? I loved M&Ms. I wasn't allowed to have Oh yeah, I, CD. <laughs> my mom let me have M&M. I like the Offspring was the one. Because there was a little cartoon girl and she was naked. <laughs> Jesus, Matt. <laughs> I, was, I was like eight. You should, have, you, should do, you should do the booklet in the CDs and have a, like, a little like fun Easter egg in it. Easter eggs and know. messages. I want to like, because I don't know how many I would do, but I would want to sign like all of them. That would take a long time. So much fun. We're doing every CD. <laughs> I thought that was so cool with like what artists would go to a Best Buy. And, and they would like they would sign ones. and they would be like a, a release thing for it. You oh, can't yeah. really do that anymore. Has anyone ever gotten a tattoo of like your autograph? I don't think so. I hope not. I don't know. I feel like so weird about that. Yeah. I've seen That's like forever. Who, or like Clara was like riding on like a fan's arm. They're like, I'm getting this tattoo. She's like, you are not doing that. <laughs> Ab no, you're not doing that. I think someone that. got something that Charlie wrote, but I don't know. I feel weird. I got my first tattoo and I like, Kind of am regretting it. What did you get? <laughs> what did you get? I got a cloud. Oh, I don't nice. know. I just hate like having that on my body. It's freaking me out. Like that, it's on my body forever. I can't even see it. But every time you could always cover it up. Is it big? Yeah, I would second guess tattoos all the time. It's like yeah, you know it's, it's interior tiny. design. Yeah, like fun. you buy a couch and then you know ten years later you're like, I, I this isn't in anymore. <laughs> I would get crazy about my tattoos, thinking I don't know. Yeah, I regret yeah. every time I got that with one. every single one. It's horrible. Which what is the biggest? Uh, regret of tattoos that you have they're all the these same. two 
The same amount. Who, what is that one? Deal and God loves ugly with a slug <laughs> and a happy face. Don't make that face, Matt. Don't make that face. I think it was just the slug. So he has deal and his friend has no deal. So when they shake their hands, it shows deal and no deal. I, they should put me on the show at least for that. It really is something that you even th you guys even thought. Of, thought we of just it. really like Howie Mandel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I instantly regretted them. I was also highly intoxicated when I got them. And then you wake up in the morning and you're like, what did I do? Yeah, I thought once I was going to get one, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to want so many. And I'm like, mm, how do I get this removed? I did hear the process is really painful for yeah. removing it. Like way worse than actually getting the tattoo. Because they're like burning it off in a way, right? Yeah. Because it has becomes like scar tissue, right? Is it like, bur your, is it burning your skin at all? I think it, there's something about the laser that like heats up the underneath the tattoo to make it like explode basically. Cause I, I feel like the people that I've seen that remove their tattoos, like after a while, it just looks like you got a burn mark there. Yeah. Like it removes it. Well, like it's like, you know, when like you burn your finger, like on like the stove or something, it immediately goes that, like, that white kind of color. Yeah. That's what like it's doing over and over. It's it's zapping oh, yeah, away yeah, yeah. the tattoo. Yeah. I'm going to get that at some point. Oh, that See, looks, you could do it. That looked like Photoshop. I'm not going to lie. How long have you had it for? A month. A month? Oh, oh, I thought you got it like. Well, is that the is that the cloud from yeah, the uh, the happy the happy, the happy okay. song? Yeah. So my whole, f I can't really I can't tell the story, but you can watch on our Hulu show. Oh, when is the when is that coming out? Are you guys done shooting it? Almost. We're still like finishing up. Cool. Things. Is it fun to shoot a show like that? Is was it? Uh, were you like a fan of like the Kardashians or those type of like reality shows about like a family? And then now you're experiencing it. Is it stressful? Is yeah. It I've never, I never really watched. Like I've seen the Kardashians a couple times, but I never like was into watching them. Mm -hmm. But I feel like my family always said like, oh my God, we should have a reality show. Like I think a lot of families say that they're like, imagine if we had cameras around. It's it is kind of weird. Like I it especially at the beginning of the season it's like not as relaxed, but yeah. through like as we go on it's more like chill and just like Is it like a whole crew or is it usually just like a guy with a camera, a guy with a camera over there? It's a whole crew. It's a whole crew. Oh my yeah, I would have a meltdown if I had like it's, twenty it's, people just around me. Just it's with so camera. weird because like if we do vlogs, like there's I, I don't really feel the pressure of like us filming ourselves or doing yeah. something like a sit down, whatever. But as soon as we get mic'd up for a show yeah. or mm -hmm. something, I immediately I shut down and I freeze. Yeah, I think so. Getting mic'd up takes the like takes you out of it the most. Yeah. Yes. I also didn't know that they can always hear you. So when you go to the bathroom, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guy in the other room with that big box just. <laughs> and of course, if something's bugging you in the moment, you're obviously gonna say something to a friend or whoever is yeah. nearby when you're in the bathroom or something and you just forget. But everyone we work with is like really nice. So it's yeah. not like we're having like annoying people in our That's house good. and like following us. So how long have you been shooting for? We started in December and we're almost done. But we had a break in between. For some reason, I thought those type of shows, it, it takes like two, three weeks to film and they just get everything done all together. Well, they're like actually following storylines and stuff. So Got they're it. like, they filmed a bunch of different. Do you mm. see the episodes before they come out or, okay. Yeah. You, oh, you good. get to approve everything? But do you ever get mad? That's like nice. you hear like a confessional of one of uh, someone in your family. You're like, why would you say that? <laughs> No, I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble though. Oh, <laughs> bring it on. Got it. I think this season's gonna be a lot better than last one because last one was like really depressing and emotional and like everyone who watched it was like, oh, you're so brave. And I'm like, okay. It was I, mean, so I mean, it was capturing real moments. So it's not like you fa like you faked any of it. Yeah, you know, it was happy. That was, that was your life. So. But I'm definitely I'm much better now. So I'm like That's good. excited for people to see the reaction. Cause I did like, read all the comments and people are like i would be i would be so happy to be crying where you are like i'm like maybe you're there, right that is know. like a people, silly people are gonna say to... something regardless of what it is so i feel like i kind of took everything into like consideration it was like maybe you're right maybe like i do need to like work on some stuff and like i don't know i felt like it was good all the hate was like good hate but it was mostly love which was surprising. yeah that's good it's a growing experience everything but is there a theme song to the show i don't think so royalty free music throughout the episode <laughs> See, yeah, it's gonna three. slay the day gonna slay the day <laughs> <laughs>
you score the whole next one. Yeah, just use your music. Yeah, for use all the sixty so songs you that you never released. You don't have to buy all the songs. Would you make the intro? We talked about it, but I don't think we have an intro song. Uh, there has to there has to be some sort of song in the intro. I literally have no clue. I feel like people kind of like got away from that. Yeah, yeah like, like shorter intros have been a popular thing now. Like not this like because everybody clicks skip, skip anyways. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You only watch the first one. But I guess it's the first one that's important. I'm not gonna lie, but I watched every single Game of Thrones one. Me too. Oh my god! Don't even get me started. So your birthday though is coming up um, in August, right? Mm -hmm. August 12th. Mm -hmm. My mom's birthday. Really? Oh, yeah. really? Aww. That's how I that's remembered. Cute. And you're going to be turning 21. Yes. Do you have like big plans already set for what you want to do? I wanted to go to Vegas, but the more I like think about it, uh -oh. none of my friends are 21. Ah, mm. yeah. So you have keep, you been before? Got to keep it in oh, house. Yeah. My dad. Um, He's in the clothing business and he used to have trade shows on my birthday in Vegas. So we would go every year on my That's birthday. Cool. But I was like 16, so I Couldn't wasn't really doing anything. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like that would be fun. Even if it's just like me and my parents. What did you do for your last birthday? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had it at... I mean, the last two years have been a blur though, so... You were there. I was at your birthday last year? Yeah. W August... August twelfth. <laughs> Is that um? What was I doing that? Was it um? I don't know. Was it your? Was it a music release? No. Okay, because I remember that one. That was a few months ago. It was at the place that just opened. Um, Off Sunset. Yeah. Off Sunset. Had it was the day oh, it opened. Oh yeah. It the day it opened. Oh shit. Yeah, I dropped a glass on the floor. It was I've seen some really interesting people in that place. I've been twice. It's not. Big. It's really it's, small. Yeah. It's small. It gets hot. What's going to be the first wide. drink you're going to legally order? Uh, Which one would sounds like the best to you? Strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, <laughs> that one does sound really nice. <laughs> That's a good like 21st <laughs> like, drink. Put an umbrella in it. It's when you were a kid you. and like your parents had a daiquiri that looked like the most delicious thing uh -huh. ever. Yeah, or pina colada. It's, it's always the pina colada. This is a mommy drink. You can't <laughs> have it. Are we invited to it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to invite your if older you your up. other friends. What? If you show up. I'll show up this time. Okay. We have to bring a present. I mean, <laughs> people people usually bring. Charlie and I's thing is we bring people something they made to their birthday. So like we went to Sydney Carlson's birthday and gave her a wildflower case. Oh, <laughs> oh. Just like gifting them their own stuff. Oh, that's funny. That's pretty good. That's cute. We should get a capybara for your birthday. <laughs> a what? Oh yeah, <laughs> baby. A cap the capybara is. <laughs> What's a capy? Oh, capybara, capybara. Sorry, I forget shit all the time too. The capybara. <sighs> Imagine one of those in your apartment. Huh? I Just think they. Were, I saw a video of like, there's this town where a bunch of like rich people moved in, but there was. These animals in Australia, mm -hmm. yeah, there was a, a capybara. The capybara were, were uh, taken over. Like, well, they like built like a, a like a very like luxurious like high end neighborhood. Yeah, over an old capybara like and land, they just, yeah. and they they're came rolling back. the streets, and they, they just walk back. around the neighborhood. They're they're I at the San it, Diego it, Zoo. They're at San Diego Zoo. Look, look, look at that. Look, they're like walking around in the street, just taken over. Oh, that looks like a, a, that looks like a horror Argentina. movie. Look, Acupas. <laughs> Imagine that thing with like a really big uh, hamster bottle with the metal tube and the ball at the end of it. And it's just. Oh, yeah. Can you pick up this, the, the, the smelling salt thing? Oh, yeah. I you need it. a little hit? I wanna, I'm just I'm sick of looking at it. Have you done smelling salts? No. Do you want to try it? Sure. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I've seen videos of people like. Reacting. Here, I'll do it. Here. It's not bad for you or anything. Just take a big. It's not the best. Take a big you. snort. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not, it's Ugh. not drugs. It, it's, that not makes drugs. You, it's not drugs. It's, it's just um, salt. It's ammonia. It's for, uh, don't sniff it like too hard, but oh no, she's going to do it. It's the whole for, thing. it's for athletes to get like a, okay, shake it up. It's jelly. It's just oh, jelly. It's jelly. Okay. Wait, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to do it. No, no you no, got you it. You got to. it. You have to. My shirt is so tight. Just don't think about it. Like literally, have it right here and then go. No, I might pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't pee. You won't pee. Oh, it's. It's like smells like chlorine in a. Yeah, way. I was gonna say like when you accidentally like breathe underwater. Yes, that's the. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> oh tiny, my god. <laughs> you want some? I, I just wanted. It. No, I don't want any. <laughs> Man, God, that stuff's good. Oh, okay, wow. fine. Fuck it. I'll do it. This little pick me up, you know? Woo! This is how you do multiple podcasts. Doing, yeah. doing, <laughs> doing drugs with Dixie DeMolo. <laughs> ah! That was close. You did that really close.
That one, that one went in your brain. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> nice hand. Right. Okay, let's play a game. Or... We're going to play a game. Oh, God. You like games, Dixie? Yes. It is called Explain This Photo or Tweet. Oh, we have a collection of photos and tweets um, that oh, pertain oh, oh. to Dixie. Close your eyes. You're peeking. I'm literally watching you peek. Ready? Stop. Okay. Oh my God, that looks like Mariah. Okay, we have- Oh my God, it really does. We have Dixie uh, next to a Coachella car on in holding a leash. And Walking a, a house chicken. It's a chicken? No, it's a rooster. It's a chicken. A chicken, uh, explain this. What, what, what were you taking a chicken for a stroll, making the chicken cross the road? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a BMW event, a, event and the woman that lived there had like a bunch of chickens. She was like, you wanna walk one? And I was like, yeah. She was like the coolest person ever. She was just like, yes my chickens and was just like holding them and mm -hmm. in, a, in a creepy way or kind of just like no she was like so like stunning and just like here. yeah i like, i have chickens did you have to ride in that all the way to coachella yeah oh you did that, that was I, that was this year because i saw doja do that too but i only, I only saw her and yeah, you she's do this behind me on the car oh really that's her hand oh you got to meet her no it's her like her printed out yeah. oh because i know she did this too she did like a whole shoot with it have you ever met doja mm -hmm. you did yeah. How is she in person? Very chill. Yeah, is she like but funny? Like, like her TikTok, like like her personality on TikTok. I met her like in passing, so it wasn't like anything. But I've seen her perform a bunch of times. She is the coolest person ever. Like, yeah, she's she so seems like really fun to hang out with. Insane to watch. Like, she's amazing. Yeah, I I love her. All right, All right next, next one. photo. Oh wow, we have <laughs> Dixie at the Kids Choice Awards getting slime. Yeah. Wow, that, that what a perfect fit to uh, uh, wear. I know. It almost looks How like was it? it? Tell us about it. Did you taste it at all? Yes. It does it like get in your like mouth and your nose and your eyes? It was everywhere. My ears, and then I had a ring on, like from a stylist, uh -huh. like a diamond ring, and it fell off somewhere when I was getting slimed. And like when I got off stage, I was. Isn't it crazy that they're making an outfit just for it to get ruined? Did you know you were gonna get slimed? I didn't even know I was gonna win. Like, I don't, I just showed up and they brought me backstage. I was like, oh, I won. And then I was like, am I gonna get slimed? He's like, yeah. I was <laughs> because I did the promo for the Kids' Choice Awards. So I had to do like a whole day of getting slimed. And it was like, t I got slimed like 13 times and it was just awful, over it. cold. Like, it was well, super cool because it's like, you get slime, yeah, of like course. that's like a dream, but then it was really cold. At least make it hot, you know what I mean? Like I hot know, like, slime. It, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know really what hot slime I would me. rather much have hot slime than cold slime. Like lukewarm. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. And it, the green looks really good on the white dress too. It's wow, look at this picture. Oh, damn, that's a sick shot. Sick. We have Dixie modeling for Valentino. Yeah, that's Valentino. Yeah. Oh, damn. I love that. Lipstick in my Valentino. How was the shoot? Lipstick How in my Valentino. <laughs> How was that shoot? It was so fun. We shot in Paris and shooting like there's so much different from here where they're like, yeah, chill. Like everyone's relaxed. There's no people like 10 minutes, five minutes. Oh, really? Like, like there's no one like that. It was just like. Did you love Paris? It was so nice. That's Zane at Delilah after he's had too many <laughs> drinks. He's like, I need to get out of this booth. <laughs> Just walking across the table. That's I dude, I love like high end fashion know. brand shoots. They look, they make it look so good. It's just perfect every time. We're gonna be going to Paris soon for our first time. Oh yeah, we oh, are. So excited. Uh -huh. We're going next month for a men's fashion week. Oh really? What? Yeah. I, I, why am I just Wait, what, hearing what, about this? Lipstick in my Valentino. Yeah, we. We've never like been. To, we've never. We're been walking to Paris. for uh, Balenciaga. Yeah. No, you are not. No, we are. Well, you guys better get to practicing. Yeah. And I get know. to walking. Oh, you guys are not walking. We're actually going to do the wheelbarrow. He's going to hold my feet up, <laughs> and I, I'm going to. We're going to be fit. We've never been fitted before for like anything like that. So it's going to be. Fun. No, we're not. We're not walking. Okay. We're just. <laughs> like, we're just going. That'll be yeah. fun. Those like when everyone's in the same place, it's really cool. Is men's fashion? Have you been to men's fashion week? I've only been to. Two shows, the Valentino one, and then I went to London for a Burberry one recently. Uh huh. And that was it. I'm so excited. It's like the first. They're so cool never to watch. Like it happens really fast though. So like. Oh, like the, the back and forth, like they're going quick. Mm -hmm. and I'm happy. I'm happy for you guys. I really am. <laughs> yeah, we're excited. Well, yeah, great shot, Dixie. Thanks. This photo. Oh is my god, I forgot sick. that you actually went to. Wow. <laughs> So we have Dixie at the Met Gala. We have a whole cast of people. We got Whoopi Goldberg up in it. We have Carrie Mulligan. We got Normani. Wow. Were you, were you nervous? I don't remember 
the whole carpet because I was so scared. Just blacked out the whole time. Oh my god! I would be. I would go into. A, I would go into a blackout if I had to do something like that. So how does this whole outfit thing work? Do they go? This is what you're wearing, like it or not, and you just got to do it, or do you kind of have like some sort of say and be like, no, I don't like that. They gave me options and like we. Kind oh, of and then you get to. Together, oh, that's good. But I feel like it all depends on the person. Like I was going with a brand. So I would obviously wear something Valentino right. or if like someone went with like there was a YouTube table or in, I don't know if there was an Instagram table. Like I think you have more of a say. Okay. I, oh, I don't cool. Really okay. Know, but I loved it. It yeah. looks so it looked good. Amazing. Yeah. It looked great. Oh God. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my, that doesn't even look like you. That's Charlie. The first oh, one's Charlie. Oh, no, no, I'm, yeah. no, I'm talking about the one on the right. Oh, yeah, that one's me. Wait, did, th did all this happen at the same time? No, okay, okay. so... <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Charlie broke her nose at field hockey practice and... Got hit with the the ball? She hit someone's face. Ooh, oh my she God. she broke her nose. And I was, like, driving her home that day. Like, it was, I felt really bad. And then when we came to California, she went to the doctor because... Oh, something happened where she had a headache and the music was really loud. So she went to like run inside to like turn it off or mm -hmm. whatever. I don't really remember what happened. And she ran into the door and hit it again. Jeez. Oh my God. So we went to the doctor to get it fixed. And the doctor, this was like our first opinion. The doctor was like, you're going to get yours fixed too, right? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm, this is for her. And he was like, oh, well, you have a deviated septum. And then I got like x-rays and it was broken in two places. I don't ever remember breaking my nose. They just give you a fake x-ray <laughs> scan Whoa. and they're like, yeah, we're going to need to fix that. Yeah, I got mine fixed too. Which I had like this weird thing that every time I touched my nose, it would burn. So I couldn't kiss people. <laughs> oh, on weird. A what's a, what's a <laughs> on a certain side because it would hurt so bad, like touching my nose and it went away. That's, I've never heard of that. I definitely have something wrong with my nose. Like I can't breathe through one at you all. You definitely have a deep. I just can you can you tell like one. a difference when you breathe in? Oh yeah, like it's like actually it was easier like to painful before. Like it was always burning, always dry, and like now it's just I can breathe. Kind of like when you walk into a like you go into a sauna and you breathe, uh huh, and mm -hmm. your nose is just on fire. Is that kind of like what it felt like yeah. every time you breathe? Did it hurt? No, it was just like remember. tender and sensitive. Yeah, like the healing process was weird, but it also takes like a year for it to settle down. So. Like the old pictures of it, it looks really bad. Like any pictures for like four months after I got it done were like really bad. Cause it, Just inflamed. It was so swollen. Like yeah, it kind of yeah. looked like a shark. I don't know. Is that like where it. they do um, in the videos where there's like something like up in the nose and then they like oh, pull yeah, it have, out and it just goes. Yeah, that was the worst thing ever. Have you seen ever. that? Uh, no, I, I don't It's know these like about. things that are like up in there and basically they, they pull it out and it like flexes back the other way it's like up there to like i guess separate and like open and then they like pull them you get them out like a week after the surgery it was the, probably the worst part it was so painful and it like tickled and Ooh, i don't like i don't like stuff going up my nose this is from the jingle ball tour wow what a lineup we got you next to bts that was oh wait you performed with all these people that's insane technically bts opened up before nope, you we're not gonna say that we are not gonna say that. <laughs> the wow, BTS. they opened for you. That's amazing. <laughs> I did not say that. That was so scary because this is like my first job. I did one show before this and then had this show and I was walking on stage and BTS is walking off and I see everyone walking out and I was like, okay. Oh. But it was a great experience. I feel like I've had the most amount of anxiety I could have with performing and it could just like get easier from here. That is a crazy lineup to yeah, be a part I would, of. I would freak out too. How did what you is this? get my home screen? <laughs> so this Wait. is Dixie's uh, home screen for her apps and games. <laughs> well, Wait, so you, what? You love your games. So. Wait, did, how did, did you even recognize that? Yeah, I know that's my... <laughs> what, hold on, wait. Is, is this Charlie's screenshot of her of her apps on her phone? I With think Dixie? I posted this. Yeah, I have a lot of games. So, what's your favorite one in that lineup right there? In that lineup, probably the Castle Raid or Coin Dozer. They're both really fun. I get most of my at games now from ads on TikTok. They, yeah, I, right, I they, always download them. They look always. fake though. Like, I know. Like, ugh, I Some don't. of them are good. I. Got one yesterday that I saw someone playing on live on TikTok, and I was like, okay. Are fine. you a big like gamer on your phone? On planes, yeah. Okay. Like, I will spend my whole time doing that. And 
like if I'm bored. I try to do these. This was my beginning of my collection. Now I have like games for my brain. Like I do Sudoku. I love that. Or Wudoku. Oh, yeah. oh, I have that one too. Those are good. They should make, you know how like Twitch, you go live and you play games and people watch you. They should make one vertical for your phone where you're playing like a mobile app game. And then yeah, you're so like, I'm go sure you could do it. I don't think I've seen that yet. There, yeah, there's gotta be a way to. You go live while playing on your, vert, like on from your phone. They you're playing a game that. from your phone. I don't phone. think they can do that yet. That sounds like a great idea though. You guys can take it and do what you want. Whoa, uh, you bleach your eyebrows or? Yes, but this is just makeup. I did this for fun. I was in Paris and I was like, saw everyone doing that. So I tried it. But then recently I just bleached my eyebrows for a shoot. They're like still kind of red. You can see I didn't like fix them all the way. So you bleached them for a shoot and then just re-dyed it after? I was growing my eyebrows. So I just like shaped them with the regular dye. And yeah. now they look great. Is that what it looked like though when it was bleached? It looked worse oh really like, it was really bad <laughs> <laughs> and, your was and, your, one. and your skin color is like a little different under your eyebrow so you probably just saw all that with the bleach and i don't I've... have like a brow bone so like some people have like a like the prominent like oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was not cute would it you ever funny. shave them oh i really like i feel like my eyebrows make my face and i don't think i could do that it's coming back shaved eyebrows you see it my mom has told me my whole life, do not thin out your eyebrows. I feel like every girl's like mom told them that, like, do not thin out your eyebrows. I made that mistake and now everyone's doing it. I'm like, oh, it's, I know. I, I, I see coming back cycle. like the thin, thin eyebrows. It's no, crazy. I feel like after that Pam and Tommy show, everyone's just like yep. doing it. And there was oh. that filter everyone was doing oh, yeah. and oh, it just kind of okay. like started this think, new trend. You, oh, it's, do you think it started from that show? I think so. I don't know. I think that look kind of started getting like more glamorized a little mm -hmm. bit more, or I don't know. Interesting. It all just comes, it's a, it's a cycle. Yeah. Things come in but and it's out. Tough to get eyebrows back once they go but if you like if you trim them into that shape they're gonna grow back right not the same I don't oh know. really yeah i feel like i mean that's what my mom told me everyone always says like they over tweeze and then it never came back mm. so i just don't touch them i do it myself so i don't like i don't want anyone to touch them i'm getting an eyebrow transplant <laughs> really? what yeah why don't you just do what scott did all he did he did like the like the um well he has full eyebrows they're just light colored. I just, oh. I have half of eyebrows. Oh, Mine are really light. I feel like I've never noticed that. Yeah, but it like, it works though. It's not like, it's not something where people are looking like, oh damn, he doesn't have eyebrows. But then it's gonna look weird once you have like I, full eyebrows. Yeah, I it's gonna look like, strange. I feel like I look like a, uh, <laughs> uh, like a Rottweiler. You know, when they have those tiny <laughs> oh, yeah, little yeah. Like, circles. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. No, you look beautiful in every way, Heath. Thank yeah. you, Zane. All right. <clears throat> well, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having um, me. Guys, make sure to check out her new song that just came out, Wild. Um, well, oh my, <laughs> yeah. you look at me like I got it wrong. <laughs> um, make sure to check out the Hulu show that's gonna come out sometime this year. Make sure to check out all her socials. She's on TikTok, she's on YouTube, she's on Instagram, she's on Twitter, she's on TikTok. And by the CD, by the CD, for the album, the yes. record. <laughs> she's gonna be signing all of them, hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. Um, do you, is there anything else that we're forgetting that you would like to plug in? No, I think that's perfect. It. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again, Dixie. Thanks, we really appreciate, you, having, You're a rock appreciate star. you taking the time and yeah. Anything else to close out? That's it. I think just make sure to tune into every episode, uh, audio Monday, Spotify, Apple, however you listen, YouTube video every single Tuesday, youtube.com slash Zane Heath. If you want to check out our Patreon, get bonus episodes and all that fun stuff, it's going to be patreon.com slash Zane and Heath again. We got Cremota Coffee, cremota.com. Get your K-Cups, bag coffee, and drinkware. Um, and we'll see you next week. We love Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Toodles. <laughs>